first time I met him. And it was Friday night. And then Shabbos afternoon, towards Charlie Shudas, I met the kids again. And I says, how was it with this, this man, this gentleman, that I put you by, you know, with this driving or whatever? Oh, it was awesome. It was unbelievable. We're going back to Nava Shali Shudas. And they went back. And I think I, and I followed them to see what was going on. And it was the most amazing time these kids had. And they always talk about it. But with Rabbi Chaim, it didn't end there. The kids got married. Rabbi Chaim made Sheva brothers and went to the wedding. It was part of the whole wedding ceremony. And that's where Rabbi Chaim was. I, I, I took Rabbi Chaim and I went one time to Russia together. And I had a whole group of students that were there, the Russian students and my, you know, my American students. And it was for Pesach, it was Pesach night. And we're in a hall, they were in a hall this big, in the middle of Ukraine, in Krakow. And there's guards outside that to, to watch us, this is for security. And the stories of Rabbi Chaim had everybody at the Seder dancing all night long and singing and dancing and celebrating and talking about what it is to be free because he's, he's explained to them, here we are with Ukraine, what Russia was all about. He says, I can't talk about freedom. We should all go outside and talk to the guards there because they know what it is now to be free people because now they're free to celebrate Pesach and what, and what it's about. Take Rav Chaim every morning for months to the hospital. I used to go every morning for, for, for chemo treatment and for radiation treatment. And we go there, and on the way, he'd always say, Jeff, can I buy you a cup of coffee, a sweet roll? He would talk, he would talk to all the nurses and, and everybody that was there on the way. He did it till last week, till, till two weeks ago when I was with him. Everybody we talked to on, on the way back and forth. I want to read something that came tonight. It says it better than I can. A, 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 young, a young lady sent me this, this email. Hi, Jeff. Baruch Dina Emmet. Thank you for being there. Thank you for introducing us to Reb Chaim. Thank you for everything. Please feel our hearts and prayers with you all, especially in Devorah tonight. Please tell her we love her and are with her. Please let me know if there's anything we can do and send her our, and send her our, our love. This is the first one that came in already. I'm telling you, this says it more than I could ever say to anybody. And there's been thousands and thousands of more. I, I have one last quick story I want to tell everybody. I apologize, I'm taking too much of your time. It was a, a young person that was brought to me. And he needed, they wanted him to go to Yeshiva. They wanted to go to Yeshiva. So they brought him to me. So I'm sitting down talking to this young person, this young man. And I said to him, Have you been, I said, why don't we try out this one Yeshiva? I was there. Why don't we try? I said, okay. How about this Yeshiva? How about that Yeshiva? This gentleman has been to every, every yeshiva. I'm saying to myself, I just don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I just, I know who will take care of you. I'm going to call my friend Reb Chaim. I'm going to call my friend, my friend Reb Chaim. I call Reb Chaim. This individual is a mensch today. Time took care of this person like he was family, and this person is just a match today. No one would take care of this person, but I did. 